Hi everyone. So today we'll be talking about the last round that happens in almost all the tech interviews. So guys, whenever you uh, participate in any tech interview, and let's say if you are done with the technical rounds, which comprise of problem solving and design rounds, then there is one final round, which happens mostly in all the interviews, uh, that is called as uh, behavioral round, right? So there you are assessed based on your behavioral abilities, okay? Uh, now, why do behavioral rounds happen? Why are they important for a software developer? Let's try to understand that. So whenever you work for an organization and there you work under a team, then you are no longer just an individual contributor. Rather, you are a collaborator. You have to collaborate with external clients, with third parties, with uh, different far away teams and all right and in order to do a good job over there you have to be good at your communication skills you have to be good at your collaborative and organizational skills right so uh, that is the reason why these rounds happen so that you can be assessed if you can do a great job over there or not because uh, once you join as an engineer you are not merely a coder but you are organizer collaborator and you hold meetings, you uh, plan the different uh, sprints and all, right? Now, considering that thing in mind, there are certain important behavioral questions that are asked and why they are asked is because uh, uh, from the answers that you give to those questions, one can actually understand that have you demonstrated uh, such abilities in past in some individual projects that you have done or in any group project that you might have done in your college. Okay, so a uh, few important questions are like somebody might ask you that, hey, have you ever asked for a help from someone? If yes, then can you talk a bit about that? So uh, we know that answer to such a question can never be a no, right? Because all of us need help, no matter what we are doing, especially if we are doing it for the first time, we will get into some errors, things might not work as expected. So we might need help. So uh, if such a kind of question is asked, then an interviewer might want to understand from you that, hey, how exactly did you approach while seeking for a help? So uh, some people, what they do is that they run a program, they get an error, and immediately they head to a senior guy, they ask that, hey, this is not working, can you help me out? That is not a good trait. Rather, what one should do is that you should do your own homework. You should try to debug. You should try to Google the error out. There are many uh, different uh, doubt discussion forums, uh, question answer forums like Stack Overflows, Stack Exchange that are out there where you can uh, discuss with people and then you can try to solve the problem on your own. Still, if you have not been able to solve, then you can document your findings so far and then you can go to a senior and seek the help. So if in an interview you uh, answer this question in a way which demonstrates your homework doing abilities that hey, uh, let's say I was working on so and so project and it was this feature was not working out, then I googled it, I documented my findings and then eventually I seeked out for help, then this will be uh, you know uh, better than the case in which you directly go ahead and seek out for help. Okay, so I would say that, hey, uh, do not just keep it as an answer, but uh, keep it as a day to day uh, behavior that you have. So if you work on something and you're stuck somewhere, something is not working out, spend some time understanding why it is not working out, because as a developer, you are also a debugger, right? Uh, another kind of questions which are usually asked are that, uh, let's say you have to uh, design an application and uh, the deadline is very, very tight. You have just 15 days to deliver it and according to your planning, it might take, let's say, 30 days. Then what do you do in such a kind of situation? Then uh, there, one might be trying to look out from you that, hey, uh, how you can prioritize the important tasks, okay? So uh, maybe in that case, the best thing to do could be that, hey, you first figure out the requirements that make up your MVP which is your minimum viable product and then you separate them from the other things. So maybe uh, your uh, MVP could comprise of getting things work, make, you, make your product functionally correct and then in backlog you can have beautifying your UI and adding other uh, optional functionalities out there. So, uh, so when you discuss about this in a behavioral interview, the interviewer gets to know that yeah, you have that skill to prioritize the right set of things and keep things moving rather than uh, keeping things on hold for long and delivering almost nothing, 
okay so uh, that's the reason that's the reason uh, behavioral interviews are very important and the best way to get prepared for them is to demonstrate some such good traits while building your own project while learning a something on your own okay uh, and demonstrating these abilities and then actually talking about them in your behavioral interviews okay cool